I'm a shift manager at Michael's. And uh, Ryan came in before asking if he can use some of our used oil. And uh, when he explained that it was for his car, because his car runs on vegetable oil, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So we were all for letting him use any of our used oil, because we didn't really do much with it. Pay dirt. My name is Ryan DeWald, and I run a business called BioCoop that converts diesel vehicles to run on vegetable oil, uh, also known as grease cars or veggie cars. Uh, I've been converting cars for a little under a year now, uh, and I've had a business doing it for about six months. With pretty much any diesel engine, you can make a few modifications to the fuel system so that it runs on vegetable oil instead of diesel. You get the same fuel economy on vegetable oil as you do with diesel fuel. So this is the first car that I ever converted and it's my baby. Um, you have to add an additional fuel circuit um, which is the vegetable oil fuel circuit, a coolant circuit that heats up the vegetable oil and you have to add an electrical circuit to operate the valves that switch between diesel and vegetable oil. You also need a fuel tank for the vegetable oil and in this vehicle that is in the trunk where the spare tire usually would ride. So this is the van that I'm working on right now. The guy that owns it has a vending machine business and he was interested in lowering his fuel costs. You always start and stop on diesel and you drive on diesel until you get the vegetable oil warm enough to be able to switch over which is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I charge anywhere between $1,000 and $1,400 just for the labor of the conversion depending on uh, what features uh, people want. And then the components themselves, people order them from kits online and uh, those prices range between $850 and about $2,000. Okay, we're ready to go collecting. In the summertime, I can switch over in about five minutes of driving. Uh, in, in the wintertime, it's closer to 15 minutes. At the burger joint, they're kind enough to save their vegetable oil in plastic containers for me and then just give me a call when they have a bunch of it and I can just swing by and pick it up. So we're at the burger joint right now. We're gonna stop and see if uh, they have any vegetable oil for us. Five gallon barrels out back, we usually dump them in. But you want them, so you tell you, man. <laughs> While the technology is as old as the diesel engine, um, the original diesel engines ran on vegetable oil. Um, the technology to convert current diesel engines to run on vegetable oil was relatively young. I was working as an attorney and I didn't really like it very much. So I uh, was looking for other things to do, other opportunities. I've always been very interested in energy issues and thought it might be uh, a business that I could get into. So in April I quit my job as an attorney and held myself out to do conversions for other people. We're here at Glass Nickel Pizza. Myself with my partner Luke Matthews um, have converted uh, some of their vehicles as well as installed uh, this filtration system to allow them to take the vegetable oil from their fryers, which are right up above us, um, and drain it through this pipe um, that goes directly into this raw vegetable oil container. And then from here, um, it passes through a pump that sends it through a series of filters um, and then into the second tank, which is filtered automotive grade vegetable oil. Uh, from here, pull the clean oil up and send it out through another hose um, to the outside of the building, where by connecting uh, this fuel nozzle to the outside port, um, they can fill their vehicles with vegetable oil. Um, one of the projects that we did for Glass Nickel was a portable pumping rig. You simply take one end of this hose and put it into um, another restaurant's oil bin and then the other end goes into this container here and uh, in about five minutes you can pump uh, 50 gallons worth of oil um, out of another container um, and then Glassicle can bring it back to their place and put it through their filtration system. I 
definitely encourage folks who have the gumption to uh, go ahead and, and convert their own vehicle, either by buying a kit or even making the, the components themselves at home, which is entirely doable. It just takes a lot of extra time. We're warm enough now that uh, we can switch over to run on vegetable oil. It runs exactly the same on vegetable oil as it does on diesel. Get really close to the uh, exhaust, you can smell that it's vegetable oil instead of diesel. So we're at Bontai now. We're gonna stop and take a look to see if they have any oil. Bontai has really good oil. You can see it's real thin and it smells real fresh. We take a, a jug and then uh, place the filling probe into the oil. That's the good stuff there. And uh, hopefully we can start converting vehicles where we get into the hundreds of vehicles and then maybe the thousands of vehicles and we can establish a, a true um, series of filling stations so that people can fill up no matter where they're going. Uh, this is my fabulous filtration system. Uh, this is where I take raw vegetable oil and filter it down to five microns so that it's automotive grade. I collect enough oil so that I can uh, sell it at a dollar a gallon. Biodiesel is vegetable oil that has been chemically thinned by uh, combining it with methanol and some kind of a base like lye. And once you've made biodiesel, um, you can pour that right into your diesel tank without any other kind of conversion at all, and it'll burn just like diesel fuel will. I sell biodiesel here, right out of my garage as well, at $3 a gallon right now. What I do is basically, I get it from um, Great Lakes Biodiesel, who gets it from a, a major plant, uh, and that means that the, this biodiesel is certified. So the very best way would be to convert your car to run on straight vegetable oil, and then use biodiesel in your diesel tank at the same time. Um, and then the only petroleum you'd be using would be the methanol that's in the biodiesel. About 10% of biodiesel is methanol. You could be down to almost no petroleum whatsoever in your car. There is a distinction between using waste vegetable oil, like I've been collecting, and virgin oil, which is when you take plants right from the fields. I'm a big advocate of trying to exhaust our waste vegetable oil supplies. And even if we cropped the whole planet in vegetable oil producing plants, we still couldn't make up all of our transportation fuel needs. So no matter what, it's part of a larger strategy to diversify our transportation fuel mix. Rather than relying exclusively on petroleum, we're going to use some vegetable oil, some ethanol that comes from plant material, electricity that comes from solar and wind, and hopefully we'll be using hydrogen, and hopefully we'll be using a number of other fuels that I don't even know about yet. Uh, so we collected 40 gallons of fuel today, uh, and my car gets 50 miles to the gallon, a good deal. A good deal and, and for free, so two hours worth of my time um, and 2,000 miles I can travel.